What's this? A fully functioning dynamic island on an Android phone? Yeah. You mean to say it's not magic that Apple create? Okay, I can't do this. It's an app called Dynamic Spot, which you can download for free from the Play Store. I mean, why are you surprised that there is such a good app which is replicating iPhone's Dynamic Island created within like two weeks of the phone being unveiled? It's UI. Any competent developer with like two days of free time can develop that. Of course, Apple will tell you that it's the most groundbreaking thing they have made. But no, it's just a simple widget that they have developed around their notch. Not only is the Dynamic Spot replicating all functionality of the Dynamic Island on an iPhone, it has more customization. Like you can adjust the width, the height, you can even move that around to be in a separate spot. So if you have a punch hole camera on the other side of your phone, you can move it there if you want. It's not as interactive as the Dynamic Island yet. I mean, that music playing symbol doesn't really move around that much, but it has the same functionality. So you can like seek songs like that. So it's basically the same app, but developed in a short notice with such great accuracy. So if a team of developers who are just bored, who wanted to prove a point can make it over like a few days, is it really that groundbreaking and surprising that a billion dollar corporation can do it? Look, my point is that Apple tries to glorify things and you keep falling for it for some reason. These are not amazing achievements. They just decided to make a fancy gimmick out of their notch because let's be honest, in 2022, I don't think there are any other smartphones with giant notches like iPhones. Even phones with that 3D depth sensing cameras like my Magic 4 Pro have a smaller pill-shaped cutout. And that's everything combined like the front-facing camera, the depth sensor, IR LED, everything. And now we have this, the dynamic spot. It can even show multiple notifications side by side like one after the other. It's actually pretty clever. It uses the notifications that are already present in your notification shade and just populates them in this pill. And since our modern punch hole cameras are super tiny, you can even directly press on that and still get a response because your finger will touch the display around it. And it's, it's quite fun. It works well for the most part. There is some weird stuff that's happening, especially in landscape mode. Like I noticed when I'm watching a video in landscape, this notch comes up here. So that's weird. Like when you get a notification, it pops up in this area instead of this area. So screen rotation is still a thing, but that's fine. It's still an early access thing and they can refine it over a few days. I mean, if they could make this much happen within like the past one or two weeks, imagine what the next two weeks would look like. I mean, I read all those comments in all of the iPhone videos that, whoa, the dynamic island looks so cool and everything. Like, bruh, tell me you're easily impressed without telling me you're easily impressed. These are gimmicks, guys. Don't fall for that. Look at a device for the value that it brings you. If it actually has something you can use, like a actually better camera, then yeah, okay, go ahead. Maybe you use the camera on your phone a lot and maybe this newer sensor will help. But don't fall for these novelty things like, wow, Apple made a feature out of a bug or whatever. No, they didn't. They just added some bouncy animations and you guys are thinking it's the next big thing. I mean, look how stupid that is. It's fun, but stupid. I mean, why couldn't you just swipe down here and access notifications like that? Why do you need this pill to tap on and go to that app? Apple couldn't realistically hide their depth sensing tech, so they made this around it. It's a good enough solution for now, but I promise you in the next two years, they'll come up with a punch hole camera and say it's the next amazing thing that Apple has somehow reinvented front facing cameras. And I know for a fact that you Apple fans will say, wow. Anyway, go check out Dynamic Spot. It's a free app on the Play Store, as I said. So make fun of your Apple fan friends and just tell them don't buy into every single marketing nonsense that Apple throws them and tell them just because Apple says it's magic doesn't mean it's actually magic.